The ATF's ability to curtail your Second Amendment rights, like owning pistol braces, FRT triggers, bump stocks, anything like that, could be significantly curtailed if we win this court case in the Supreme Court that has to do with fishing. Seriously. We need to pay attention to this and follow it because it is going to free us from the ATF like you've never seen before. Now, if you like hearing stories like this, then do me a favor, hit subscribe, like, and follow. I make a little bit of money from YouTube. Whatever money I make from YouTube, I buy guns and I buy ammunition. Like the two guns back there, I bought with YouTube money. So if you like that I spend my money from a liberal company like YouTube to pay for my gun habit without impacting my family's budget, make sure you hit that follow button and leave a comment. The algorithm likes it and daddy needs to buy some bullets. All right, you're in the right place. Let's talk about this fish case and how it's going to affect your Second Amendment rights. All right, so the case is called Loper Bright Enterprises versus Raimondo. This case centers around a rule by the National Marine Fisheries Service under the Magnuson-Stevens Act, and it requires Atlantic herring fishermen to pay for onboard observers who collect data and ensure compliance with fishing regulations. You can't make this stuff up. The government is in all of our business. The core of this issue is called Chevron deference. Now, Chevron deference is a judicial principle established in the 1984 case Chevron USA versus Natural Resources Defense Council, Inc. And this principle dictates that when a federal law is ambiguous, courts should defer to the reasonable interpretations of the relevant federal agency. And we have seen agencies like the ATF have not been reasonable. You see them defeated in the courts quite frequently, but it has been at our expense. Now, again, this or this original case has to do with fishermen in the Atlantic, but it really comes down to this Chevron deference case. This is the case that allows the ATF to ban pistol braces, bump stocks, and FRT triggers, or 80% lowers, or whatever they feel like to squash your civil rights. So this current case questions whether this defense should even continue, especially in situations where the law is silent about the agency's powers, which potentially is reshaping the relationship between the judiciary and federal regulatory agencies. The outcome of this case is going to significantly impact the scope of federal regulatory authority. If the Supreme Court decides to overturn or limit Chevron deference, which I think they will, it would make a fundamental shift in how laws are interpreted and enforced, potentially reducing the power of federal agencies. Now, let's talk about the ATF specifically and Second Amendment issues. Now, for us that are firearms advocates, this has significant interest for us. The ATF, like other agencies, often rely on its interpretive authority to enforce and implement firearms regulations. Now, recent ATF actions like the rule on FRT triggers, bump stock ban, and regulations on pistol braces have been contentious with us because they've been unlawful. And we have all said that they shouldn't be allowed to make laws. Only Congress can make laws. Now, if Chevron deference is curtailed, the ATF's ability to interpret laws in a way that extends beyond clear legislative intent could be significantly limited. Now, this means that any ambiguity in gun-related legislation would less likely be resolved in favor of ATF's interpretation, potentially leading to fewer and less expansive gun control measures. It's also going to mean that controversial ATF rules would face stricter judicial scrutiny, potentially leading to more challenges and reversals of ATF decisions. So if you want more news like this from a cop's perspective, then head on over to the link in the description for my weekly newsletter at www.conservativecops.com. And we will fill you in on all the good stuff that cops think and the stuff that makes us happy, like seeing the ATF's authority diminished. All right. Again, if you like this type of content and you want to support my gun habit, hit that like button, subscribe, leave a comment. I want to hear what you have to say. Most importantly, remember your ABCs. Always be caring.